So, uh, hello everyone. So, uh, this is my first English uh, session. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, li uh, so, little nervous. <laughs> uh, 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 let's get started. Uh, so, hello everyone. Uh, from now on, I'd like to talk about how can SIM developers monetize in the era of block SIMs. Uh, first of all, uh, okay. First of all, uh, my name is Ishikawa. Uh, I'm a WordPress SIM developer. I came from Japan. Uh, in 2012, uh, I published my first business WordPress SIM on my site. In 2015, I published the SIM Lightning on WordPress.org. In 2022, I published Block SIM XT9 on WordPress.org. I also make a living by developing and selling SIM extension plugins and other plugins. Like me, uh, the business model of a SIM developer is create and sell uh, premium SIMs and plugins. Uh, this was a, uh, uh, let me see. Uh, uh, I think this was a mainstream. Uh, we could simply create a SIM and sell it as a zip file. Uh, it was relatively possible to uh, sell and make money. Points where monetization has become more difficult. Uh, number one, uh, traditional monetization points become less effective. Uh, before FS, before FSE, uh, SIM developers uh, develop SIM with unique editing functions and sell premium SIMs. User can easily edit, uh, SIM creators could get rewarded. Such a relationship existed and there was one monetization point here. However, in FSE, uh, users can customize the entire size with no code, just standard WordPress features. Uh, this makes it much less dependent on the SIM. Then, as someone who made a living out of the SIM sales, the monetization point disappeared. <laughs> and it is so a matter of life and death. <laughs> Number two, a decreased the monetization effect by original block features. Uh, early stage block editors had poor editing capabilities. So we have developed the original block with various adjustment functions and layout, and use them as added value. However, by the WordPress bunch of upgrades, advanced layouts are now possible with core block, uh, core block and block patterns, and similar functions have been added to core blocks. Again, the so monetization point disappeared. In addition to uh, once released, original blocks become an ongoing maintenance burden, and it becomes necessary to keep a close watch on Gutenberg's development. Number three, uh, CSS output by WordPress become quite complicated. Probably uh, many then uh, SIM and custom block developers are facing this issue. Uh, however, it is inevitable in the evolution of WordPress. In this way, uh, the areas that SIM developers have focused on for monetization is greatly influenced by FSE. As a result, I feel it has become difficult to monetize traditional SIM sales. Future direction of SIM-related business. How added value and differentiated? First, we can consider uh, in fast, we can consider differentiation by block patterns uh, as the easiest way of uh, selling themes and plugins that include various pa block patterns. Uh, however, as I mentioned earlier, uh, there is nothing that users cannot create on their own, so it is weak as the monetization. The second is differentiation by global style variations. It is a future introduced in WordPress 6.0. Uh, these features allows us to create different variations within a single theme. 
These block patterns and global status variations are even general users can make it, but a high quality product created by professional designers are naturally having a high added value. These are the new extensibility and monetization points that WordPress has provided. In our case, uh, before FSE, uh, we used to sell plugins that, that extend the functionality of the theme. But, <coughs> however, expected to top off to do, uh, due to less reliance on the theme, and even if sell only that pattern, it seems to be difficult because even users have the impression that they can they can, they can, they can make them on their own. Uh, in addition to, uh, in addition to, uh, we have to move to block themes too. <laughs> Therefore, uh, currently uh, we are selling license with a uh, premium patterns and a uh, premium pattern added. This configuration is user can use both as uh, the classic themes and the new block themes and keep existing users by the value of the premium patterns, uh, acquire new users through the value of our premium patterns. And the block patterns is extremely important. So we published our, our own block pattern directory. Uh, this is a site similar to official pattern directory. Uh, how we, uh, how we created our own pattern directory. So, because uh, still difficult to only core blocks. So I wanted to use my own original box to provide more practical patterns. Uh, pro uh, practical patterns can be motivate people to purchase licenses. Second, uh, there is a language problem. Uh, characters look different in English and double byte characters. For example, uh, even if it looks not bad in English, uh, but in Japanese, the balance is bad. Thus, uh, the third is the effect of same styles. Even if you use paste the dot org pattern, a uh, user need to make some adjustments. For us, uh, we need to make an effort to get users to continue to license uh, even if the dependency of the theme decreases, then uh, how to increase, uh, increase product value? Yes. At first, uh, premium patterns, as the name suggests, the patterns are available to only paying users. And the design and the sample sentences are more elaborate, are ready to use. Yes. Of course, uh, we provide stylish and common patterns, but actually non-professional users uh, can't think about page structure in the first step. And they can't think of the sentences to write. Uh, therefore, we are providing a block pattern to create a whole page of a specific page for a specific industry. There is for the end user, uh, they are just rewrite the text to, to suit their business uh, for the commission creation uh, by using pattern as a draft of the page, the meeting with the client becomes smooth. Then providing as a pattern for the entire page, including sentences, uh, must be in the language of the country and uh, design optimized for each language is better. Uh, furthermore, uh, content and design trends vary by region. Uh, localized variation also have the benefit of non-competing with English-speaking developers. Second, our favorite pattern registration functions. Uh, they, uh, this function allows the user to register on favorite patterns and easily record them. Third benefit is link function for favorite registered patterns. Call patterns registered in favorites from the user's site with the API. Then users can use it directly from the edit screen of their site. About whether the same business is dead. 
I feel after all, the theme is important. Theme and the patterns are closely related to go uh, to related to the global size, uh, even if you bring in a practical pattern from outside and use it. Uh, there are many cases where there is a problem with the uniformity of the design. Uh, even in the era of FSE, uh, users need good themes and highly practical patterns. FSE is highly configurable and customizable, uh, but too much configuration work. Actually, it's quite cumbersome to uh, make from scratch. Additionally, uh, the website must adapt to different screen sizes. Uh, how to control display element according to screen size? With a single screen width, uh, it might be possible to layout well somehow. Uh, however, when it comes to layout on multiple widths, uh, actually not easy. I feel it will be uh, it will be difficult to monetize the theme alone, but. Uh, considering it as a set as with a value added patterns, uh, there will be many business opportunities. At the end, uh, what do you think about the future CMO business? Uh, please share your opinion on Twitter or talk to me. Thank you.